you will have a successful business and you will attain the lifestyle that you want you will have these things but you have to stop yeah the real thing i don't want to do it if it's not the real thing she don't want to do it if you ain't got the bill paid all my boss bitches know i got the bill hey hey baby and they want the real thing i don't want to do it if it's not the real thing she don't want to do it if you ain't got the bill paid all my boss bitches know i got the bill what's up you guys I know it's been a minute since I've done a video or any type of vlog or whatever. Like, ugh. I just not said to myself, like, yo, you need to stop and just put up the other video that you had. But anyways, um, this video is basically going to, it's just me pretty much expressing my thoughts right now in life or just on any type of topic. Um, looking kind of cray cray right now, but I'm going to class, so it doesn't even matter. Get your education, girl. So, anyway, um, basically, I just now came from a video, um, by Sade Watkins on here on YouTube, and she pretty much was just talking about like her mental state right now with everything, and it's so crazy because a lot of what she's experiencing as far as just somebody that's just being a creative or feeling like they're they're off their mojo like they're just lacking structure within their life because everything is just like you know just going crazy or whatever and i can strongly and wholeheartedly say like i've been feeling that way for so long for so long and it's like I started to just self-diagnose myself like I'm like yo are you experiencing high function in depression because the thing about it is it's like okay on the outside to others you know you may feel like to the out on the outside to others you look like everything is fine like everything is great oh you know look at her she's smiling she's this she's that da 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 but deep down inside you just lacking a whole purpose like you just feel so hopeless you feel like you feel soulless you feel like everything you're doing it doesn't make sense like nothing is making sense and me i'm a whole capricorn woman i stand in my truth of being a capricorn i know there's certain things where people be like oh my gosh you don't strike me as one but it's like no i am a whole capricorn woman and i don't like foolishness i don't like foolishness i don't like lack i, I can't stand a lack of stability i can't i can't function like that because it's like within me and like my nature i have to have a sense of control over things and this is why i feel like right now i feel so insane because i don't have any control on anything there's no structure you know like when i'm waking up in the morning i know like right now i know that i have to go to class so it's like okay i wake up today my alarm is set for 6 30 it goes off at 6 30 but i'm not getting out of my bed until eight o'clock you know what i'm saying and it's just it's it's a lot of things that i can change obviously like what i just now said if your alarm is going off at 6 30 you should just be up and at them and ready to go at 6 30 but i'm not doing that because there's something else like within me and i'm just like whatever like i'll get ready whenever i want to get ready you know what i'm saying like it's just it's it's i can't you you just can't pinpoint exactly what it is that is causing you to feel like this you know there's certain things like oh you know i want to do i want to enjoy myself da, da, da. but while i'm in the moment i can't even feel the moment like i'm not feeling the moment because my mind is just on so many other things at that that same standpoint you know what i'm saying at that same that at that moment <laughs> i'm trying to make sense of this at that moment if i should be enjoying something right now say right now it's 9 4 a.m at 9 4 a.m i should be only solely thinking about this and being present in that moment uh i forgot where i left off that but i think what i was talking about was being alert and present in the moment um yeah so being present so basically 
at 9.04, I should be present and only thinking about what I'm doing at 9.04. But while I'm in 9.04, I'm thinking about, okay, so what was I doing when I was at 9.02? And why am I not doing this right now? Because by the time I get to 9.06, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, my mind is just like, boop, 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 boop. Like, it's just jumping around. And it's like, yo, you gotta chill. Like, you have to chill. And... I know I'm not the only person experiencing this. Obviously, I said I just I came from a video where somebody else is experiencing it. And, like, you know, people around me are experiencing it. And it's like, yo, is, is it a time? Like, is it just a time of the year? Because I've done a video like this two years ago, you know? And I felt this same exact way two years ago. And last year, I was in a different state, a different state of mind. But it was worse. Like, it was horrible because, you know, I was on the pill or whatever the case might be, the birth control pill. And that was something I've always vowed to myself that I would never go on, you know. And I went on it, and that shit is horrible. So anybody who's been on birth control pills for a long period of time, I'm sorry, my thoughts be all over the place. But anyways, anybody that's been on birth control pill for a long period of time and you're, you're just functioning, shout out to you because that shit did not do any good for me. Any good for me. Like no thanks the only thing that I did was d regulate my period or whatever the case might be but other than that I'll, I will never go back if I will result to natural remedies in order if I needed to regulate my period or whatever the case might be but anyways that I digress so um back onto the high functioning thing so and being present so now that in itself is like okay i started i noticed here's some things that i've done to try to well the, that i'm doing to try to change my beliefs change my narratives change the way how i think about certain things right um i started listening to podcasts obviously you guys know i od watch like the joe butter podcast but you know that's like mindless things that i'm i can listen to it's just like oh, okay ha 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 he 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 you know something to keep me happy in that moment because it's something that i actually enjoy but as far as positivity and uh affirmations and things of that nature i've started watching this podcast called happy black woman and you know she's like a woman that's for women that are starting their own businesses and just the betterment of the black woman right so i started to watch her and i feel it's not only for black women anybody can can watch it but all over the place <laughs> but what i'm saying is i watching or listening to what she was saying you know she's just like you know you got to change your narrative change your beliefs if you feel like you you want to have this um you want to have this type of success or you want to have this type of relationship or you want to have this type of financial security or whatever you have to stop combating your positive thoughts you can't be the cognitive dissonance it gotta go okay like i'm giving y'all a whole lesson right now it gotta go and that's something i really do realize that i've i've been battling with cognitive dissonance because it's like oh i want i'm saying that i want to do this and i'm saying that i want this and i want to have this and i want to attain these things but yet still on the other hand i'm saying well mm, i don't know if you can have that like <laughs> And that that is the Capricorn. That is the Capricorn. I mean, not only the Capricorn because everybody has like the angel and the devil, but it's like the within the Capricorn, we are very analytical. You know, very analytical of every little thing. Like every little detail has to make sense. And if it's not making sense, it's like mm, I don't know. Like it's like oh my gosh, like what is that? But anyway, <laughs> I can laugh about it now because it's so annoying. Like it really is annoying. Like. There's only some times that I can literally just pick up myself. I can be the freaking garden goat if I'm ready and just get up and just whoop and go off on a whim. But then there's times when I'm the mountain, the mountain goat of me, and it's like, whoa, you got a scaffold there, bro. Like, you got to chill. But anyways, digress again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the positivity of it all, if you want to have these positive things or these positive affirmations and you want to claim these things into your life you got to get rid of the negative that's following along with it you know and um 
I've just gotten to this point. I was tired. Like, I'm going to school right now, and this semester is really kicking my ass. Like, hey, hi, how are you? Um, we're about by Tuesday, we'll be in the half of it. And I already throughout the semester, like, I'm a, I, I, I suffer silently. I've already taken days off like you can't be doing that shit while you're in school but i've taken days off to kind of recollect myself and be on some shit like yo i can't go i'm the type of person i make myself sick when i'm stressed out not not like actually like oh yeah blah, blah, i'm sick but i actually like develop like cold like symptoms and flu like sy symptoms because i'm stressing about certain stuff you know what i'm saying it's like oh my gosh how, why are you feeling I do it to myself <laughs> I do it to myself and it's like it's subconsciously that I do it but needless to say let me try to get my point together again you gotta get rid of the negative that's going along with the positive if you want these things to, if you want to claim these things and you know it's always crazy when you notice yourself sinking back in because like I said it's like I don't know if it's like a, a seasonal thing or just a time where of, of reflection and you know the truth starts to set in but i started to notice it like i'm like yo you just getting up just to go, like you just doing this just because it's an obligation you know what i'm saying you're not doing it because you're i am i am grateful for it right i am grateful for it but i'm not expressing that gratitude and i feel like i'm not expressing that gratitude in a way where it's like i'm being um proactive about it you know what i'm saying like i'm just like oh Oh, I'm just going here. Oh yeah, I'm just I'm gonna I gotta go because I gotta make sure that I get this grade. I gotta make sure that I get like I, I gotta make sure I get a grade. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like oh I'm going here because this is for my career. Now you get what I'm saying? Like it's two different ways to think about it. So I started to say to myself like I'm realizing that this is what I'm doing, right? And I said, What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey hi hello <laughs> what what are you doing like what what is really what is your problem like you need to be grateful be grateful for this there's so many people that wish that they could be in your position right now there are so many people that you know they wish that they could get up and they can do this they wish that they could da, 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 da. you you are on you are an are not even on the route to becoming an entrepreneur you are an entrepreneur right you are going to have a successful business. You are going to do this. You, not even going to. You will have a successful business. And you will, you will have a successful business. And you will attain the lifestyle that you want. You will have these things. But you have to stop. Like, you have to stop saying, I'm not going to have it. Oh, nobody cares. Nobody this. Nobody that. Who gives a, what? Girl. What's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> what is wrong with you i'm sorry i probably look so crazy like the like craziest looking of the people right now is giving fucking is giving a word but it's like no so anyway i noticed myself doing that so once i noticed it i said you know what i had to stop so like right now i'm a little bit early oh well, i'm gonna be early by the time i get to um get to school but you know i'm still gonna i don't know it's just me i'll be on time and then i just end up being late i don't know but um yeah i'm gonna get to i'm gonna get there and you know this class is so crazy because um it reminds me of a course that i've taken before and because i was so confident when i left it like oh i ain't never gonna have to deal with this shit again girl that shit came back <laughs> it came back so now it's like damn I still gotta apply myself here <laughs> so um yeah i just decided like yo i want to make sure that i have myself in order i want to make sure that by the time i get to class i'm not wilding out like you know like i'm not feeling crazy i gotta follow along you know i'll be putting my phone on do not disturb while i'm in class i put my shit down because i need to focus now and that's another thing sidebar so i don't know how long this video is going to be it's probably going to be like i don't know maybe 16 minutes i'm not sure but consumption and in fact this will be a separate video 